Hello guys, Newfix here. So this is the part three of the BMW and guess what? The parcel arrived. So let's take it off and have a look what we got in there. So is it a surprise for me? Oh, it's a surprise for the BMW. Let's see. <laughs> Wow, brand new. Well, he's used, but doesn't matter. But he's in better condition than another one. No rust. What I can see is all seems clean in here. So let's fit on the car. So for start with, so we have to be careful in here. We still have some pipes in here and we have this one in here. So we have to get this through in here as possible and just be careful, don't damage anything. So like you can see, I got another pipe in here. So this is a little bit tight fit, but it should go. It should go. Yes, yeah, that's it. This goes like that. Okay, this goes like that. And that goes like that. Open. That's a little bit, uh, is a little bit tight fit in here, guys. So I have to manage to just clip this back. That's it. So this should be on a position. It's a little bit tight. Of course it is. So I will try to put this one first in here. That one can plug here. That's it. And this plug you have to be more It's a little bit a tight fit, but it should be all right. So now this plug goes in here. So that one goes in here. Don't forget to plug all the plugs, because otherwise you don't will know where the thing is. So. Let's try to plug this one. One of them don't want asset. It's in place. Okay, so with the spanner 19, just have to grab it. So this one's in here, you can tighten now. That comes from the fuel pump. That's another one in here. Well, wait a second, just need to undo. This is under like that. First I will tie this, then and I put the plug in. Just make sure you don't leave any plugs loose, otherwise the car will start and you will back to square zero, because you don't know what the problem is. So okay. So now we got that. So this is some the clamps to hold the rail in place, so we got two of those, three I mean. I 
was waiting for this already three days. This is what we will see if he pays off all the work I was doing in here. Very busy today. When I leave today, it's lots of vans come here for deliveries. No, I don't care because I got everything what I need. Done, done, done. This clamp is done, the clamp now, this pipe is done, this pipe is done. So we will start now from the injector. So I will use the new pipes came with the, the rail. Okay. So just now I have to because <laughs> I have to find out where they goes now. Okay, so this one is from here, I see. No, it's not from here. It's from here. Not from here. From here. Hmm, looks like the pipes is different. Right, okay. I just hope that, well, what I will do, because I clean already I don't really want to use this pipe, I have to use this one, so I just have to see and compare. But this seems all different compared to the ones I got here. Compared to the ones I got here, so they're all different. But it doesn't matter, because I will use the... I cleaned them already. They show... They, they looks like they got rust inside, but I cleaned them already, so... We will use them. For some reason, probably well, different car or some uh, different uh, injector setup. That's why the pipes is a little bit is different. But this one's I did clean already, so it doesn't matter. All the rest is in. Of course, the car later will run, and this will be all clean. The BMW one series, I did the same. So yeah. This is, looks like a puzzle. You have to see really where, <laughs> where they go. This one goes here. It's a funny setup, and this one goes in here. That one goes there. Okay. Uh, this one goes not here. Not here. Goes here. My battery is getting low on the phone because I was doing another video today uh, about the Mondeo. Uh, uh, we will see how it goes. Just wait and see. Otherwise, I need to get the charger. Okay. Two more. A little bit tired today, to be honest. The last one it will be here. No other place to be, is it? One. I 
one is a little bit tricky. It's a weird position. So I have to move the cables around. Six. That one is done. Just check all again, over and over again. Make sure they are tight. You don't have to be crazy because otherwise you damage the rail. This is already replacement and I don't want damage. Okay. So now the injectors. Lots of bees in here. On the summer, we got lots of bees. I tell you what, this is a pain to do this nuts from the injector. You know, it's it's not much room because this on is on the top. You can be manageable. I don't type this one in here. Just let me know. Yeah, you can see it, and you will see why. So now I need to plug this sensor in here. So there's one sensor here somewhere. Okay. This is for don't give a bad reading to the AC here. Something is missing. Right. So what I have to do here, this is one guy yesterday asked me how to bleed the system. Well, I use this system like that to bleed the system. Okay, so this is the Delphi program and so I will show you how I do. It's a little bit of brightness in here. I probably have to close the garage as you can see well. Yeah, uh, let's do like that. The, the phone don't want to focus for some reason. But yeah, so you got an idea. I don't know what's happening with the phone. I just try to focus, but you don't really want to focus on a on a computer well it doesn't matter so i use this program all the time to bleed the systems on a bmw okay but who don't have this program they can do one way now we'll show you what you can do so you can get somebody else to crank the engine for you so when he cranks the engine you open one nut here from the injector when the engine is cranking you will create press pressure on the system you will see diesel escaping here if you see diesel escaping here say the guy stop Tie this up and then next one, next one, next one. Probably you need to do one, uh, three inject injectors, then uh, the other ones will just suck the air in and then the diesel will go through. But I use this computer thing because it's easy. I'm alone in here, so I will use that, okay? So now you will see what happened. So what I have to do is just start the ignition, just press start. Okay, just press start and then you go in here, just press OK. Now we have to keep eyeing here because when the diesel starts to circulate, so first what I will do is tidy up this one. So 
if I go in here, so what? You can hear the noise. So what's happening here now? The the computer is pressurized the system, so it sends the diesel in here, you know. see so I will stop oh, antivirus thing will stop and then I will try again start again and now we'll open this injector here this this one in here see see the fuel come here see you can see the fuel already there and you can see the buzzing so the pump is doing their job okay so I stop again start again just do three times it still lots of hair on the system but at least this one nearly done I will do probably one more That is that is also already here. Okay, the computer get it's just say stop. Okay, so I can turn this off. Go back. And now I'll select diesel, normal, three liters, and then I will delete all the codes what is in the system and try start the car. Oh, he say you can't connect, so probably the ignition goes off, because after two, three times he goes off. No, actually still on, so why he can't connect it? So I still codes in there because I was messing around with the system, so just delete everything. No codes. Okay, so what we left to do is try to start the car. Okay, let's split the system once more. Let's try again. This will, this will take a few attempts, so let's try flush the system again. Try this injector now. Actually, try this one. Okay, try that one. Okay.
So let's see, come back to another place. This takes few attempts and then it will start. This was the same as the BMW one series. Uh, just see what's happened here. Okay, so the cold flow pressure is still there. Just need to leave the cold and try again. on the rail. We know something is working. Let's try again. So, okay, uh, what I can see, we still struggle in here for some reason. It still do exactly the same what it was doing before when you arrive in here. The pump is new, uh, the rail is new, the sensors is working, but it still don't start. So I don't know, now it's two possible reasons. I will keep trying and see, because I don't finish if the car yet. So it's two possible reasons. Even when I'm cranking, I can hear some noise from the chain. I don't know if it's some problem with the chain of the car, but the pump is turning the same time I turn the crank, so I don't think the chain is, is faulty. Uh, but these cars have problems with the chain, everybody knows that. But I will check now what's happened if the chain, uh, if the chain is fine, just uh, take that cap out and see if the camshaft spins, if the crankshaft at the same time. And another thing will be uh, probably the injectors, they, the, the solenoid is dead, if the, the rust. But before I go more further, let me see what I will, what I can do, and then I come back to the video. Okay, stay tuned. Hello, guys. Well, so no luck on starting the car. So I just take the injectors all apart, and I find out something quite um, interesting. So this is the magnetic bit of the injector. So so far so good. This looks alright. The problem is in here on the top of the injector. So this, like you can see, is rust on it. So the injector number one I opened, it was fine, but this one looks like it's not good. So this is not working. And then if I do that, you can see, uh, so have a look. The pressure come out, if I blow in here, the pressure come out from here and it can't do that. Okay, so this has to be holding here inside the body, but it's not. So the thing is that the car will need for for be sure and be safe to run on a road in its six uh, new injectors. So I spoke already if the owner of the car and he will get them. So we have to get the injectors, program them to the ECU and the car should running. But about this once, if it's metal on the system guys, yes, the way I clean the injectors, it will help like you see on the series one. But when is water and you have something like that, Mm. 
like we can see rust so this never will work uh, right uh, I'm a little bit disappointed because I spent lots of time cleaning the injectors and I was thinking it will work but when is water on the system guys is what we have to do really is change the rails, change the pipes, change the sensors, change the fuel pump, the high pressure fuel pump, and change the injectors as well, because they never, they, they never will work 100%. Water go in, rot, water rust everything, so you are done. Okay, so well, uh, we just will wait now for the new injectors, and again, I will fit the new injectors on it, on a car, making the video, and then try start a car, and this should be done. Okay, because I was thinking something wrong with the chain, but what I was checking on a computer, the camshaft and the crankshaft, this seems okay. This this seems to match uh, the values. So is something else playing up on a car? So how I find out about this was connect four bottles on a car, uh, six bottles I mean, and if a pipe on the top of it, yeah, so in a leak pipe, in a leak section, and one of the bottles and crank the car and Jesus the bottles was fill up very quickly in 10 seconds they was almost full yeah I mean like bottles this one's drinking water where I put them I don't know where I put them now so let's see he can fill up the, the smug in in 10 seconds okay let's say so it was leaking leaking very badly so that's why I find out ah okay so the injectors they not they don't all don't open or close properly that's why the diesel, it comes in here, straight away goes up. Even if you disconnect the injectors, it's, it's the same thing. Fuel go here and come, it comes up. The injector number one, number two seems okay, but the other ones, they not. So I think it's better just put the six of them and then we will be sorted. Uh, well, this is a little bit disappointed. Uh, I was so happy today, put the rest of the parts uh, in and I was thinking start, but when water goes on the system, my friends, is is a game over and like we change the pump and the fuel rail and the sensors and we we should change the injectors as well uh, but of course we we keep learning all the time when you're working on cars I was trying to save money to this person uh, but I did uh, what I could uh, but it didn't work because the, the water go go too far and like he said the car was stand for two weeks if this issue uh, or probably the water just standing there like you see on a rail, it was completely full of rust. So if the rail is like that, think about the injectors. So that's that, that's crazy. Okay, guys, so let's see what will happen when we get the injector. So looks like I have to do a part four now for this BMW because it's, it's getting the things a little bit complicated. But I believe now after the, the new injectors, it will be fine. Oh dear. Right, so stay tuned for part four. Hello guys. So before I close the part three, I will show you something. So what's happening here, uh, what I was checking last night and everything, even I said already on a video before, um, so the injector is not holding the pressure at all. So what's happening here is the high pressure from the pump, all the, all the fuel come, come out from the top of the injector. So it means it's something wrong, the injectors. This one is fine. So far, it was this one and this one, but now this one start behaving weird again. So this one is the only one is working right, okay? So we have only one injector here, work how it should. Another five, they they don't get anymore. So I got this bottle's hook in here. I will crank the engine and then we will have a look. I just probably, I hope this don't fell over. It should be all right. So I have this clump in here for stop the fuel come back. So we will see.
hacemos. Like you can see, so this one is one of the injectors, so th this can't happen because otherwise the car never will fire. This will keep going, so I will try to put this one here. The number one so far is very little, and this one, number two. It looks like it's behaving right now, again. Let's try it quick again. So this is the number Okay. Number two. Number two, no, sorry. Number one, no. And this is worth a little bit dirty on the end, but yes, so this one is some fuel as well. Okay, so three of them is leaking fuel. And the messy stuff, you know, messing around with diesel is a messy stuff. Right, so like you can see, the injector here, better, let's say, is the number one, number two. Okay, the number three, that's no, no chance this car can keep going with the pressure like that. So, what I have to do now. Um, just have to see a way if I can test that one because this will leak everywhere. Uh, right, so probably have to do something else. Just do that. It will be enough for or don't leak all out. Pump in here. Need something else like that. That should do. Let's go into this bottle.
tampa back to the tampa back. Let's see what's going on. Okay, so let's crank the car now and see what's happened. Just make sure this is on. In. in. Actually, it's not number three, the one before is number four. Number five. So this is about 10 seconds, 15 seconds cranking, okay? This, this can't happen like that. So all the injectors, if they will get fuel like this, there's not any pressure on the system. So we got these bottles like that, so they, they, they look all the same, okay? And the number two and number three, they look the same as well. The only, only thing is quite strange in here is, like you see, the number one is the one that inject much fuel out, and I think that's the way it should be. Because this is a big engine, so all the injectors leaving fuel like that, you never will gain pressure on a rail, yeah? Never. So, to me, this is clear, is the injectors not working right. So the, the main bit on a, on a body is gone, it's rusty. Because, let's think, this have to create pressure before the injectors fire, yeah? So, why the diesel come out like that? So the number one is behaving how it should be. This is the amount of the, the diesel have to come out when the car is idle. And for 15 seconds or 10 seconds cranking, I think this is excess, excessive. So if I will do that. For 10 seconds cranking, this all feel like that out? That's a no-no, okay? This can't happen. When the car is cranking, it can't leave pressure like that, because otherwise, you don't will get any pressure on a rail. So it will be zero or 100, like it says all the time it is. Uh, 100 KPA, whatever they say is. Some scan is different. So, yeah. Do I think it's the injectors? Of course it is, I think. So the thing is that the needles and everything I, I clean is fine. That, that bit is working. What is not working is between here and the head on the electronic bit. For some reason it's stuck. So nothing will happen here. Okay, so I hope this can be clear for some people. Just make the injector leak test and then you have a look. It don't look much diesel come out, but it is. It's six inject five injectors doing this. So you don't really gain any pressure whatsoever on the system. So 
So for the part four, we will install a new injectors and let's try start a car and see what will happen. Okay. Stay tuned for the part four. I see you soon.